morning. This one is going to be beautiful today. Ah, uh, and a beautiful day it was. Blue sky days aren't always a landscape photographer's friend, but today that's what I was gifted and the peace and tranquility that came with it was everything I needed. And welcome to another landscape photography adventure here in Scotland in Glencoe. And I'm at Loch and Glencoe. And I intend to get some photographs of reflections of the PAP, which apparently is Scottish in some way for woman's breast. Well, that's enough of that. Whilst I've got your attention, I just want to let you know that from this point forward, my videos will be released on a Wednesday evening. So, if you're looking out for them, that's when they'll be. So whilst I'm here, I'm going to be scoping out some woodland photography for tomorrow. So that way is a trail that takes about 45 minutes, and that's through the woodland. That way, that's to Loch and Glencoe. Well, I've got ooh, three and three quarter hours until sunset. So I think we'll do the trail that goes through the woodland. Right, so we've reached the pond after a little jaunt through the woods. This, I think, is what I've come straight out to, but I think at the moment this is probably going to be it. I can see the other side of the, uh, of the little lock and from here. It's not very big at all. 20 minutes to go around it? Yeah. So what I've set up for is you've got, obviously, the pap there and the pap reflected in this mill pond reflection. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Hopefully, a bit later on this evening, as the light is changing and the clouds possibly illuminate, then that will stay as that mill pond reflection and that will be perfect. I've got these trees here on the left reflected in them and I've got a tree on the right here that's also reflected. I like this, I like this a lot great reflection shot. There is a little jetty over there as well uh, and I love this island in the middle but unfortunately it's where the ducks live and every time they move around they create ripples. It's really hard to get a clean shot of it. Well, I quite like that. That's a reflection of Pap and a reflection of the jetty. That means there's two Paps in that shot. I've got a pair. Happy days. Well, as I'm wandering my way around, I'm picking out little shots. So I've just taken one of the island over there with the uniformity of some Scots pines behind it. Um, yeah, it's okay shot. It's okay shot. Quite like it. But the problem I'm going to have this evening is, if you can see, this is about to look awful, the sun is about to set behind that mountain over there. So that's going to happen well before sunset. So that means there's not going to be any light on Pap. It's just going to be, hopefully, a red sky behind it reflected in the pond. But we'll see. That's a beautiful place to be anyway. It's so calm and so peaceful. Those beautiful reeds over there. 
think there might be another little intimate shot coming up here. So I've had a little go at photographing these grasses that are growing in the water there. And they're in the sun, they're beautiful. And then you've got the dark water. But the trouble I'm having is I can't zoom in enough. I do miss the reach of the 300 mil on the Canon. I could go into DX mode on this, but I may as well just crop it to do that. <sighs> and the other problem I've got is these jetties are floating jetties, so they move. So as soon as I get set up for the composition, I have to stand still and hope I don't move the camera or create ripples in the water. Oh, it's a hard life being a photographer. So I think I've needed this. I've been quite tired over the last few days, so this has been a nice leisurely walk, scouting mission, a beautiful day, and something to photograph. I'm quite chuffed with this. I think from a reflection point of view, this may be the end of it, but never give up. So I'm gonna go and sit down right by where I took that first shot of the mountain reflection and wait and see what the light does. <sighs> well, that's a little jaunt around and a couple of pictures taken. And now I'm set up back at the original shot, waiting for something to happen. The sky is just so blue. There's virtually no cloud up there. Oh, I might get a touch of pink if I'm lucky. You never know. I have no cares in the world, apart from one. Ducks. Ruining my reflection. So I've got about 50 minutes left now. And there is a touch of cloud over it. I'm just sitting here chilling my boots, watching it all, listening to the odd chatter of people that walk by and the occasional woodpecker tapping away. Every day should be like this, just chilled and relaxed. So unfortunately, we didn't get the sunset we wanted. But I had a great time. I managed to sit down, chill, and reflect whilst getting reflections. <laughs> I needed that. Uh, it's quite easy to get lost in the, the race to get to places when you're doing a trip like this. And it's kind of, oh, right, I want to be here. Then I want to be there. I want to be somewhere else. And it becomes very, very tiring, especially after a couple of weeks of just non-stop doing it. You need that break. And that's what I've got today, even though I've done a vlog. It's just been a relaxing day. Well, I hope you enjoy all the images, guys, and I will catch you in the next one. <sighs> Bye for now.